what up guys this is Tawak here bringing you another video from ESO today I'm showing you how I DPS on a Dragon Knight and you'll notice that my spec is mainly built for AoE damage and it does pretty dang well in some dungeons I must say <clears throat> so without further ado the skills I'd like to start out with the most crucial ability as usual as I did with the tanking video and that is carve is the first skill in the two-handed column and that is basically your main AOE your main damage your main damage dealer um, and that's gonna be your main skill uh, the next ability that I find crucial is stampede this is your gap closer as you notice I always need a gap closer as all warriors good warriors should have a, a gap closer whenever they're doing pretty much anything um, because you almost always have limited mobility, so you definitely need to close the gap. Um, so definitely don't skip Stampede, uh, especially when you're questing or dungeon uh, PvPing. It's not so much for dungeoning, you could probably swap this out uh, with something to offer more DPS or possibly your armor in case you ended up tanking something. Um, but for questing and PvPing, Stampede is a must. The next ability that I definitely enjoy when I'm rocking the two-hander on my Dragon Knight. Uppercut. This is a really awesome stun. It has a pretty huge wind-up. One second is actually quite a while in ESO. Um, and it's just a big backhand wind-up. And they uppercut them, and the person, if it's a successful hit, it throws them back and under their back, and they have to get back up. So it's a nice stun. Works very well in PvP. A couple abilities that I use out of the Ardent Flame Tree. Actually, I only use the one. I use Burning Embers. Uh, and this is a dot. I keep this around because I need to use my Magicka in contrast to my Stamina. You can't have all Stamina skills on your bar. you got to have some Magicka skills. Um, and I took Burning Embers because I like to have the dot. Um, and that's that. The next ability that I like as with my tanking tree. I love burning talons um, because rooting a group is very helpful uh, to keep them off your healer and to keep them in place for you to AoE them more effectively. And I uh, use the standard of might for my ultimate on this tree on this build as well. I use this on my tanking build but I also use it on this one because the healing and the stamina and the magicka regen from this is just monstrous. Uh, and I find that much more value over Dragon Leap. So, without further ado, let's have a look at him in action. So let's close the gap. Get the AoE on. You see how quick those guys went down? Nice, right? I know, I thought it was nice too. Close the gap. Why don't we dot this one? Single target. A little help. Thanks for the help, dickhead. Whew, black. See him winding that shit up. There we go. Expected a little bit more NPCs here. Close the gap. Why don't we show an uppercut? See that wind up? Boom! Throw down that banner. Give me that health and that stamina region. Need it for this group. Ho ho ho! Nice. So basically, you guys saw it there. You know, always close the gap to get in there. Use your cleave if there's any good concentration of enemies so you can get good AoE damage. Um, you got a dot if it's single target uh, and then like I said I recommend burning talons to keep them nice and neatly grouped up so that you can get the AoE. So that's that guys if you have any questions just comment away and as always please like, follow, and subscribe. Until next time this is Tawak signing off.